Another principle of body mechanics is the angle at which you approach the contour of the client's body. For maximal efficiency, it's always best to meet the contour of the client's body perpendicular to whatever the contour's angle is. I'm not trying to say that you always need to work perpendicular. There might be reasons at times, such as myofascial spreading, etc., that you might want to come in from a different angle. But for maximal efficiency of the effort that you place in for the pressure that you end up generating into the client's body, it's important to meet the contour at a perpendicular, at a 90 degree angle. Applying the idea of approaching the contour of the client's body at a perpendicular angle, if we were working the very top of the thoracic region, I would actually come in with a horizontal direction to my pressure. If I decide to move down the thoracic spine, the contour changes a bit and the angle would not be quite horizontal, but angled a bit like this. As I move farther down the thoracic region, my angle continually changes. When I get to the actual mid-thoracic region, I would literally, because the contour is horizontal, I would need to be perfectly vertical, like this. Or if I used a different contact, my palm, for example, here, I'd need to be as perpendicular as possible. In this case, perfectly vertical. If I'm working the thoracolumbar region down here, I would choose to stand more toward the foot or caudal end of the table and put my pressure upward towards cephalad, so my angulation is like this. In comparison to that, if I'm working lumbosacral area, I would stand at the head, the cranial end of the table, the cephalad end of the table, and press in at an angle this way, or again with a different contact, perhaps like that. So whenever you're going to meet the contour of the client's body, think about looking at that angle of the contour and always meeting it perpendicularly. That will give maximal generation of force for the amount of effort that you place into the stroke.